Okay, so a bit of a long shot with this one. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick throwback review to the iPad Air 2. Um, you might be wondering why I'm either bothering doing it. Uh, well, it was my first Apple product. Um, I still use it every single day. Um, so I just wanna see if it's still usable or how usable it is in 2021. Um, not gonna sit here and tell you that it's still worth buying because you know we all know it's not. Um, but just wanna look through the specs, um, see how it performs in 2021. Um, so let's dive in. Quick recap, um, the iPad Air 2 was released in October of 2014, just after the release of the iPhone 6. So up front we have a 9.7 inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 1536 by 2048, which is good for 264 pixels per inch, which is the same resolution as its predecessor, the iPad Air. As you can see, there's some very thick bezels surrounding the outside of the display, which newer models don't have. Up front, we have a 1.2 megapixel selfie camera with video recording topping out at 720p at 30 frames per second. If we flip the iPad Air 2 over, um, you can see we have an aluminium body, which unsurprisingly has picked up a few scratches. I don't know if you can see. Um, that's just during my time with it. I generally have it in a case, but sometimes I rock it without it. Um, and up here on the top left, you can have um, an eight megapixel camera with an F 2.4 aperture, um, which is an improvement over the five megapixel shooter found on the first gen iPad Air as well. Image quality from this camera isn't particularly great. Um, even back then, um, in comparison to the phone cameras, um, it was just not that great. Um, so as you can imagine now, um, it compares even worse. Um, annoyingly, up on this top right hand corner, I don't know how well you can see that, um, but I have a dent because I sadly dropped this about four days after I got it. Um, so I was very, very upset with that. But there we go, it still served me well. Um, also at the top, you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well. Um, and at the bottom is the lightning port and the speakers as well. Um, powering the iPad Air 2 is Apple's A8X processor, which is just a slight improvement of the A8 that was found in the iPhone 6. This is a 20 nanometer chip with triple cores clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. All models of the iPad Air 2 came with two gigs of RAM with a choice of 16, 32, 64 or 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Um, I've got the configuration with 38 gigs of internal storage. Um, obviously with all Apple products, none of them are expandable. Um, the iPad Air 2 also introduced Touch ID to iPads and this still works flawlessly even now. So I've got no complaints there. So, although they made the iPad Air 2 thinner from 6 point, uh, sorry, 7.5 millimeters to 6.1 millimeters, um, they had to put a smaller 7340 milliamp battery inside, down from the 8600 cell inside the iPad Air. Um, obviously, I haven't had an iPad Air, so I can't compare battery life. Um, but yeah, that's a bit of a bit of a shame. But there we go. Um, prices started at launch, I believe, at £379, um, but of course you can get that a lot cheaper now from eBay or private sellers. So now on to my experience with the iPad Air 2. Generally, still pretty good. I mean, you can tell it's getting old now. It doesn't feel as smooth as it was when I first got it. Um, and using it with my iPhone 12, you can de definitely tell it's an old product. Um, the gestures well, I mean a bit slower, um, but yeah, generally it's pretty, there we go, you know, there's, there's a bit of lag opening apps now, um, so, so yeah, the gestures are slow, not to the point though that I'm getting frustrating, frustrated with using it, um, 
but yeah, I mean, again, it's a seven year old product, so you can't really complain too much. So the camera on this, eight megapixels, um, in daylight, it produces some pretty respectable pictures, um, some that you could use for, you know, putting on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and all that sort of stuff. Um, but anything more than that, you're gonna to wanna to use your phone or, or an actual camera. Um, there's no flash on the camera either. So shots in the dark are, to be honest, absolutely pointless. Um, I wouldn't bother at all. Um, and although, you know, not having the sharpest screen on the market, the iPad Air 2 is still good for viewing photos taken on other devices. Um, I'll post a few photos at the end of this review so you can have a look and see what you think um, of the photos taken with the iPad Air 2. And please leave comments if you have an iPad Air 2, um, if you're looking at maybe getting one. Personally, I don't know why you would get one now, um, but there we go. So if we go on to check out the Geekbench scores, um, if I can go to history. There we go, so it scores 375 on the single core and 1054 on the multi-core. Um, if I just bring up Geekbench on my iPhone 12, there we go. So 641 and 3002 on the iPhone 12, which to be honest, you know, it's not surprising. The, I the iPad Air 2 with its A14 Bionic chip is clearly going to work so, so much better. Um, but, you know, this, these results here, if I remember, um, are quite similar to some of the mid-range Android chips on some of the budget phones that I've reviewed. Um, so, you know, it's still, still relatively decent. Um, it'll still get you through general day-to-day -day tasks, but anything sort of power hungry and graphic intense, um, it's probably not the best option. Um, I mean, to be honest, that's basically it. Um, it's a very good iPad if you just want something just to browse the internet, watch some YouTube videos. I mean, videos on YouTube still look really, really good. Um, software, it's running. So it's what running iOS 14.4.2. So it is up to date. Um, how much longer this is going to get software updates, I don't know. Um, that's another reason why you might, you know, not want to get it because, you know, software updates are going to become few and far between. Um, so, but at the moment it's running the newest version of iOS, so can't really complain too much at the moment. So, I hope you enjoyed this quick look back at the iPad Air 2. Um, if you did, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Um, and hit the bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe.